Yeah, you're sunburned too. Look at that. Don't touch yeah. your mouth. I didn't touch it. Okay, so Aspen decided he had to go over and tell our neighbor something, and I'm about to find out what he had to go tell him. But, but that storm cloud can stay where it's at. It was hands down a much, much better experience. Ayo! Good evening guys, it is late in the day. We have not done much of anything. Everyone is exhausted from our trip yesterday and very, very sunburned, as you can see. Anyway, I have been learning some new editing software today because I told you guys in the past that I've had issues when trying to upload a lot of videos and I've always used Creator Studio in the past, which has worked great for me. But I'm actually learning to use um, some new editing software to see if that won't help. So it's taking me a lot longer, and I'm hoping that the vlog actually comes out in time. But Matt said he uses it, and he's always he's never had problems with it taking a long time to process once it gets into the YouTube processing part. So hoping that's the case. If not. You guys will have already seen the vlog white and I do apologize for that. So hopefully not. I'm going to get back to this and then we'll see where the night is. But yeah, it's just a super lazy, lazy day today, you guys. Okay, so Matt made another amazing supper. I took a break from the editing. Look, I told you I'm sunburned. Look at this. I'll show you tease. It's pretty bad. She's got a bad sunburn. Look at this. Nachos for supper. Oh, it's so good. Vanish nachos. Yeah. Yeah, you're sunburned too. Look at that. Don't touch yeah. your mouth. I didn't touch it. I thought you were. Yeah, look at this, you guys. Everybody's, mine's not too bad through here, but wait till you see teas. This is pretty bad. And yeah, Matt said venison tacos, not burger. And they're so good. And decided he had to go over and tell our neighbor something. And I'm about to find out what he had to go tell him. But he had to drive his car. Look at it. It is so late taking him out, but it's been so hot all day. So what you going to tell us? Well, you can tell them. He's so serious about this, you guys. What do you got to say? Look how dirty his car is. He's got dirt on the hood. Yeah. Dirt no, in the trunk. No, kind of did on purpose. Yeah, he got made it dirty. Yeah, I'm going So what do you have to say? Is that what you came over to tell him? Mike, I have two club ones. One day I was a baby club right over there, and then I was cutting in there, and I found I was in the train driving the baby club, and it run. And it run fast. Now you know. Now this is a big one. What is that? Is that dirt? Yeah. Or is that a rock? No, it's a dirt. No, it's just a dirt? Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna watch this and I can dump it. Oh, how about we do? This is why I have to dump this dirt out. Can I come now? How about you dump the dirt over on our sidewalk? How about that? Say bye. show you so I've shown you before when I take you by the river that we live across the river from Wisconsin like literally live across the river from Wisconsin so that spectacular lightning light show that you can see that continuous lightning going on that's over in Wisconsin and Matt was like I hope that is not headed our way because it just looks nasty but it looks like we're not supposed to get any weather tonight 
let's hope. Maybe a little rain, but that storm cloud can stay where it's at. All right, guys, so I finally applied some aloe to everybody's sunburns, and I tell you what, that's why I'm so, I'm super shiny from it, but oh, we are all so fried from this trip, but it was well worth it, and it looks like we will actually be making a trip, and I think I said this earlier today, but I don't know, it's been a long day. A long day learning new editing software. So I was actually really, really impressed. Um, Matt has been using it for a while, so he's been telling me I should try it, but I didn't have the capacity on my phone to go ahead and use this. And it's something that has to be either put into a tablet or you have to have like an iMac, stuff like that. And I don't have that, I just have a regular desktop. So I couldn't put it into there but Matt's phone had enough capacity, so that was really nice. I was able to use it, and he's right. I've told you guys before, the processing of the videos takes quite a while, and with this, it was like super fast speed because it compresses them already, then I could just upload them. So it was really nice when I had a ton of clips, and now I don't have to worry about that publishing it aloud. And with my intro and the outro that I put on where you see Aspen, and he says, hi yo," and then he'll say bye at the end, I was a little worried because I had to process the first video where it was um, all the footage that we had from Great America. And then I still had to go in and then after that was done uploading, I had to go in and put those on. So I was wondering if it was gonna take longer because of adding those two clips and I couldn't use that editing software because those are actually just in Creator Studio. And it didn't, it was like just as fast. So definitely something that I'm gonna utilize more often I may actually use it for regular editing tools so it, I was pretty excited about it. Anyway it looks like we're going to be hitting the water park in Great America yet again like I was saying so I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to take you guys with us. Um, it did make me think when we were there I would have liked to have gotten some ride footage like actually on the rides and I couldn't do that because I don't have the equipment that I could actually take onto the ride. You can't take a camera on there. You can't you can put your cell phone in your pocket. But that's a really bad idea and you can't take it out on the ride. So it's definitely something that I think a GoPro would be really handy for and I have no idea what's going on in the next room. I can hear lots of like dropping of things. Ireland, are you okay? What? What was going on? I had to shut the door. Oh. <laughs> I should put the cat away. Say hi, everybody. Where are you? Hi, everybody. I have to itch my nose and the stuff on it. Yeah, she's got a little sunburn. You can maybe tap it a little bit till it dries. She has a little bit of a sunburn on her nose, but it's not too bad. It's actually pretty light, but I did put some aloe on her. T probably got the worst burn. Well, I don't know. I think Charlie was pretty burned too, but I haven't seen hers today. But the back of T's neck and her calves are really, really burned. So I put the aloe on and she's like, oh, mom, that feels so much better. And it really does. My face was like, it set in today and I realized just how red I got. So a little bit better sunscreen will be needed if we go to the water park. But yeah, I definitely think that a GoPro would be a good thing to get to do, like get pictures on rides and stuff like that. So if I can find one at a reasonable price, I think in the near future, I would like to pick one up because it'd be really cool to get you to get to, to get to take you guys on those rides with us because that was super fun. And I have been to Adventureland before, which is an amusement park, but I've never been to a theme park. And I have to say, for the cost and the closeness, it was hands down a much, much better experience for our family than when we went to Adventureland and way cheaper to go to. And there was so much to do. I mean, there was so much for everyone, whether you were an adult or a little bitty kid. I was really, really impressed. And I was really impressed because as some of you may know, and if you're newer to our vlog, you wouldn't know this, or you might not know it if you haven't seen some of those videos, but I actually have two autistic children. And the things that they have in place for children with disabilities in general is just amazing. For example, Long lines, large crowds can be really, really tough for some children with disabilities um, and just having to wait for many children with disabilities, actually. And I know for two of mine, that's a struggle. 
and they actually have a pass that's available for families where you can go to the exit and not have to wait in those lines and get the kids right onto those rides. So that was a really cool aspect of there. They also have something for kids where say you're in a long line and some of the lines are like an hour wait to get onto the mo the more popular rides, sometimes even longer. And let's say you have kids with you and your children have to go to the bathroom. That's happened to many of us, I'm sure, just standing in a line to do anything and a kid says, I have to go to the bathroom, mommy or daddy. And they have a thing where you can leave the line and your place will be held while you take your child to the bathroom and then you can have your spot back when you come back. I mean, just so family friendly, just such a cool experience. And there were so many other things I can't even think to touch on everything that was there that was real. Oh, if you're there and you want to take a ride as an adult, there's a there's rides that kids obviously can't go on like small children. They have something called um I can't remember what it's called, but basically the gist of it is like let's say there's a couple of adults in the party and you say, well, they're gonna wait with the child. They can go right onto the ride after you get off and not have to wait and wait with that child for you. And I just I thought that was so cool because those are such cool accommodations for families. And you know, they just think about what would make an experience great for people to come there and those were just a few of them that we experienced while we were there that I was like wow you know I never experienced any of this when I went to one of the smaller amusement parks just a really cool thing so yeah we'll definitely be going back again obviously we did the season pass so we're going to take um a few trips there and utilize our pass that we got and we may actually have a really cool trip coming up in December or January that I'm going to be pretty excited about but it looks like the water park will be this Thursday because it's supposed to be like 90 degrees and I've told you guys before we have window air so it gets it tends to get super hot in this house even with the air going when it heat oh my gosh I can't talk tonight when it hits temperatures that high in the high humidity so looks like we're gonna go to the water park and take the kids and get to finally experience that in Great America. So I'm excited because that's going to be another first for us. And of course, we're going to take you guys with us.